Hey, I like doing crazy videos, stuff that no one's done before. Um, I'm a bit of a uh, light meter junkie. This is the most advanced current light meter out there, it's the Konica 858. And right now at ISO 200, 250 a second, we're looking at f2.8 on ambient light reading. There's no difference between what's underneath this dome, except it's a lot more sensitive and a lot more accurate than what we actually have here. This is 18.6 volts maximum output, 17 watt solar panel. Yes, indeedy, 17 watt, 18.6 volts max output. Of course, we're not looking at max output since it's kind of a hazy overcast Monday. So all I knew, all I need is the baseline of comparison. Of course, I would never use this as a light meter. What I have here is a voltmeter hooked up to the output on this large, although relatively small solar panel. All I do is need a baseline from my light meter to determine what I need to have my camera set at. So I'll actually, and I've already done this, let's actually take our here and place it here. Let's see what we get. Of course, my neighbor is using his lawnmower. Let me hook that up off camera here again and see. Yes, we got six volts of output. Right now we actually have very consistent diffuse November lighting. So six volts from this solar panel translates to the profiled camera I have in here, which is a Fujifilm X-T3 at ISO 200 at f2.8. So six volts translates into f2.8. So if right now the clouds are passing in and out or if the sun was getting brighter or dimmer, you know, as it was rising or setting, there's no difference between using a voltmeter and this solar panel and using, of course, this is a lot more compact, infinitely more portable. Nobody on earth other than a mad scientist like me would use a voltmeter and a solar panel, but it's the same thing. It's absolutely the same thing, okay? Everything is electrical. Let's repeat after me the point of this video. Everything is electrical. Six volts of output. Yes, let's, let's connect here. Six volts of output equals F2.8. So if, and I've already done the calculations, eight volts would translate into a uh, F1.4. No, F, F2 at eight volts and uh, 10 volts would uh, translate into an F1.4. Uh, That's correct. So everything is electrical. I've taken this dome off before in other videos to uh, show you what's underneath this. It's nothing other than a very sensitive, highly calibrated, yeah, volt meter, right? That's all a light meter is. It's just a volt meter with a tiny little calibrated solar panel inside. This is great too, by the way. It's completely waterproof. They're on sale. They're sold by a voltaic system. So I've got a 20 watt solar panel. And uh, this one, the difference between this one and the 20 watt solar panel is this one is nearly indestructible, totally waterproof, totally weatherproof. Now, even in this sort of diffuse lighting, since it's 18 volts max, even in this crappy, hazy, overcast lighting, I could do a recharge during a full day of 24,000 uh, milliamps under ideal circumstances, 24,000 milliamps as long as I kept rotating the solar panel to match the sun. 24,000 milliamp battery will uh, charge an iPhone like three times or charge your Ultrabook one time. But uh, yep, everything is voltage. Everything is electrical. Uh, that's, that's all a digital camera is. It's just millions and millions of points of light at a certain voltage passes through a colored filter array, digitized and dropped onto your compact flash card or SD card. So at least I'm happy to say that while this video is extremely nerdy and the first person to show that with a voltmeter and a baseline of comparison, you, with a solar panel, you've got yourself a light meter, except no one would be stupid enough. <laughs> no one would be stupid enough to haul around a solar panel and a voltmeter to use as a light meter but it can be done. Not only that, it would be extremely accurate. Technically, because of uh, the sample area of this solar panel and its size, because of that, 
even though this is the uh, more sensitive, much more sensitive than the world's best light meter, this one is more accurate because I can read out micro fine voltage on this and I can actually use this as a far, far, far more accurate ambient light. Obviously you can't use this as a flash meter. You can never use a solar panel as a flash meter, but I could use this as a far more accurate light meter than this. But this is very small and portable and runs off of one battery. And this is huge and obnoxious and no one, no one would use this. Thank you so much for watching. This is a completely original video. It might be boring or a little too nerdy, but at least it's original. Thank you so much for watching. And click the link below, send me an email, and my neighbor fires up his goddamn lawnmower again. <laughs>